The Winter Olympic Games French, Olympiques de Hiver, is a major international sporting event held once every four years for sports practiced on snow and ice. The first Winter Olympics, the 1924 Winter Olympics, were held in Chamonix, France. The modern Olympic Games were inspired by the ancient Olympic Games, which were held in Olympia, Greece, from the 8th century BC to the 4th century AD. Baron Pierre de Coubertin founded the International Olympic Committee in 1894, leading to the first modern Summer Games in Athens, Greece in 1896. The IOC is the governing body of the Olympic movement, with the Olympic Charter defining its structure and authority. The original five Winter Olympic sports broken into nine disciplines were bobsleigh, curling, ice hockey, Nordic skiing consisting of the disciplines military patrol, cross-country skiing, Nordic combined, and ski jumping, and skating consisting of the disciplines figure skating and speed skating. The Games were held every four years from 1924 to 1936, interrupted in 1940 and 1944 by World War II, and resumed in 1948. Until 1992 the Winter and Summer Olympic Games were held in the same years, but in accordance with a 1986 decision by the IOC to place the Summer and Winter Games on separate four-year cycles in alternating even-numbered years, the next Winter Olympics after 1992 was in 1994. The Winter Games have evolved since their inception. Sports and disciplines have been added and some of them, such as alpine skiing, luge, short track speed skating, freestyle skiing, skeleton, and snowboarding, have earned a permanent spot on the Olympic program. Some others, including curling and bobsleigh, have been discontinued and later reintroduced. Others have been permanently discontinued, such as military patrol, though the modern winter Olympic sport of biathlon is descended from it. Still others, such as speed skiing, bandy and skijoring, were demonstration sports but never incorporated as Olympic sports. The rise of television as a global medium for communication enhanced the profile of the Games. It generated income via the sale of broadcast rights and advertising, which has become lucrative for the IOC. This allowed outside interests, such as television companies and corporate sponsors, to exert influence. The IOC has had to address numerous criticisms over the decades like internal scandals, the use of performance-enhancing drugs by Winter Olympians, as well as a political boycott of the Winter Olympics. Nations have used the Winter as well as summer, games to proclaim the superiority of their political systems. The Winter Olympics has been hosted on three continents by 12 different countries. The Games have been held four times in the United States in 1932, 1960, 1980 and 2002, three times in France in 1924, 1968 and 1992, and twice each in Austria 1964, 1976, Canada 1988, 2010, Japan 1972, 1998, Italy 1956, 2006, Norway 1952, 1994, and Switzerland 1928, also, the Games have been held just once each in Germany 1936, Yugoslavia 1984, Russia 2014, and South Korea 2018. The IOC has selected Beijing, China, to host the 2022 Winter Olympics, and the host of the 2026 Winter Olympics will be selected on June 23, 2019. As of 2018, no city in the Southern Hemisphere has applied to host the cold-weather-dependent Winter Olympics, which are held in February at the height of the Southern Hemisphere summer. To date, 12 countries have participated in every Winter Olympic Games – Austria, Canada, Finland, France, Great Britain, Hungary, Italy, Norway, Poland, Sweden, Switzerland and the United States. Six of those countries have earned medals at every Winter Olympic Games, Austria, Canada, Finland, Norway, Sweden and the United States. The only country to have earned a gold medal at every Winter Olympics is the United States. Norway leads the all-time medal table for the Winter Olympics both on number of gold and overall medals, followed by the United States, Germany, and the former Soviet Union. History. Topic: 20th century. Topic: 1900 to 1912. 
A predecessor, the Nordic Games, were organized by General Victor Gustav Balk in Stockholm, Sweden in 1901 and were held again in 1903 and 1905 and then every fourth year thereafter until 1926. Balk was a charter member of the IOC and a close friend of Olympic Games founder Pierre de Coubertin. He attempted to have winter sports, specifically figure skating, added to the Olympic program but was unsuccessful until the 1908 Summer Olympics in London, United Kingdom. Four figure skating events were contested, at which Ulrich Saukau ten-time world champion and Madge Sires won the individual titles. Three years later, Italian Count Eugenio Brunetta Dusso proposed that the IOC stage a week of winter sports included as part of the 1912 Summer Olympics in Stockholm, Sweden. The organizers opposed this idea because they desired to protect the integrity of the Nordic Games and were concerned about a lack of facilities for winter sports. World War I The idea was resurrected for the 1916 Games, which were to be held in Berlin, Germany. A winter sports week with speed skating, figure skating, ice hockey and Nordic skiing was planned, but the 1916 Olympics was cancelled after the outbreak of World War I. The first Olympics after the war, the 1920 Summer Olympics, were held in Antwerp, Belgium, and featured figure skating and an ice hockey tournament. Germany, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria and Turkey were banned from competing in the Games. At the IOC Congress held the following year it was decided that the host nation of the 1924 Summer Olympics, France, would host a separate International Winter Sports Week under the patronage of the IOC. Chamonix was chosen to host this week, actually 11 days, of events. The Games proved to be a success when more than 250 athletes from 16 nations competed in 16 events. Athletes from Finland and Norway won 28 medals, more than the rest of the participating nations combined. Germany remained banned until 1925, and instead hosted a series of games called Deutsche Kampfspiel, starting with the Winter Edition of 1922, which predated the first Winter Olympics. In 1925 the IOC decided to create a separate winter event and the 1924 Games in Chamonix was retroactively designated as the first Winter Olympics, Street. Moritz, Switzerland, was appointed by the IOC to host the second Winter Games in 1928. Fluctuating weather conditions challenged the hosts. The opening ceremony was held in a blizzard while warm weather conditions plagued sporting events throughout the rest of the Games. Because of the weather the 10,000 meters speed skating event had to be abandoned and officially cancelled. The weather was not the only noteworthy aspect of the 1928 Games. Sonja Henny of Norway made history when she won the figure skating competition at the age of 15. She became the youngest Olympic champion in history, a distinction she held for 70 years. The next Winter Olympics held in Lake Placid, New York, was the first to be hosted outside of Europe. 17 nations and 252 athletes participated. This was less than in 1928, as the journey to Lake Placid, United States, was long and expensive for most competitors, who had little money in the midst of the Great Depression. The athletes competed in 14 events in four sports. Virtually no snow fell for two months before the Games, and there was not enough snow to hold all the events until mid-January. Sonia Henney defended her Olympic title, and Eddie Egan of the United States, who had been an Olympic champion in boxing in 1920, won the gold medal in the men's bobsleigh event to become the first, and so far only, Olympian to have won gold medals in both the Summer and Winter Olympics. The German towns of Garmisch and Partenkirchen joined to organize the 1936 edition of the Winter Games, held on 6-16 February. This was the last time the Summer and Winter Olympics were held in the same country in the same year. Alpine skiing made its Olympic debut, but skiing teachers were barred from entering because they were considered to be professionals. Because of this decision the Swiss and Austrian skiers refused to compete at the Games. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II World War II interrupted the holding of the Winter Olympics. The 1940 Games had been awarded to Sapporo, Japan, but the decision was rescinded in 1938 because of the Japanese invasion of China. 
The games were then to be held at Garmisch-Partenkirchen, Germany, but the 1940 games were cancelled following the German invasion of Poland in 1939. Due to the ongoing war, the 1944 games, originally scheduled for Cortina d'Ampezzo, Italy, were cancelled. Topic: 1948 to 1960. Saint Moritz was selected to host the first post-war games in 1948. Switzerland's neutrality had protected the town during World War II, and most of the venues were in place from the 1928 Games, which made St. Moritz a logical choice. It became the first city to host a Winter Olympics twice. Twenty-eight countries competed in Switzerland, but athletes from Germany and Japan were not invited. Controversy erupted when two hockey teams from the United States arrived, both claiming to be the legitimate U.S. Olympic hockey representative. The Olympic flag presented at the 1920 Summer Olympics in Antwerp was stolen, as was its replacement. There was unprecedented parity at these games, during which ten countries won gold medals—more than any games to that point. The Olympic flame for the 1952 Games in Oslo, was lit in the fireplace by skiing pioneer Sondra Nordheim, and the torch relay was conducted by 94 participants entirely on skis. Bandy, a popular sport in the Nordic countries, was featured as a demonstration sport, though only Norway, Sweden, and Finland fielded teams. Norwegian athletes won 17 medals, which outpaced all the other nations. They were led by Halmar Andersen who won three gold medals in four events in the speed skating competition. After not being able to host the Games in 1944, Cortina d'Ampezzo was selected to organize the 1956 Winter Olympics. At the opening ceremonies the final torch bearer, Guido Caroli, entered the Olympic Stadium on ice skates. As he skated around the stadium his skate caught on a cable and he fell, nearly extinguishing the flame. He was able to recover and light the cauldron. These were the first Winter Games to be televised, and the first Olympics ever broadcast to an international audience, though no television rights were sold until the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome. The Cortina Games were used to test the feasibility of televising large sporting events. The Soviet Union made its Olympic debut and had an immediate impact, winning more medals than any other nation. Soviet immediate success might be explained by the advent of the state-sponsored, full-time amateur athlete. The USSR entered teams of athletes who were all nominally students, soldiers, or working in a profession, but many of whom were in reality paid by the state to train full-time. Chiharu Igaya won the first Winter Olympics medal for Japan and the continent of Asia when he placed second in the slalom. The IOC awarded the 1960 Olympics to Squaw Valley, United States. It was an undeveloped resort in 1955, so from 1956 to 1960 the infrastructure and all of the venues were built at a cost of $80 million. The opening and closing ceremonies were produced by Walt Disney. The Squaw Valley Olympics was the first Winter Games to have a dedicated athletes' village, the first to use a computer courtesy of IBM to tabulate results, and the first to feature female speed skating events. The bobsleigh events were absent for the only time due to the cost of building a bobsleigh run. Topic: 1964-1980. The Austrian city of Innsbruck was the host in 1964. Although Innsbruck was a traditional winter sports resort, warm weather caused a lack of snow during the games and the Austrian army was enlisted to transport snow and ice to the sports venues. Soviet speed skater Lydia Skoblikova made history by winning all four speed skating events. Her career total of six gold medals set a record for Winter Olympics athletes. Luge was first contested in 1964, but the sport received bad publicity when a competitor was killed in a pre Olympic training run. Held in the French town of Grenoble, the 1968 Winter Olympics were the first Olympic Games to be broadcast in color. There were 1,158 athletes from 37 nations competing in 35 events. French alpine ski racer Jean Claude Killy became only the second person to win all the men's alpine skiing events. The organizing committee sold television rights for $2 million, which was more than twice the cost of the broadcast rights for the Innsbruck Games. Venues were spread over long distances requiring three athletes' villages. 
The organizers claimed that this was necessary to accommodate technological advances, however critics disputed this, alleging that the layout would incorporate the best possible venues for television broadcasts at the athletes' expense. The 1972 Winter Games, held in Sapporo, Japan, were the first to be hosted on a continent other than North America or Europe. The issue of professionalism was disputed during these games when a number of alpine skiers were found to have participated in a ski camp at Mammoth Mountain in the United States. Three days before the opening ceremony, IOC President Avery Brundage threatened to bar the skiers from competing in the games as he insisted that they were no longer amateurs having benefited financially from their status as athletes. Eventually, only Austrian Karl Schranz, who earned more than the other skiers, was excluded from the competition. Canada did not send teams to the 1972 or 1976 ice hockey tournaments in protest at not being able to use players from professional leagues. It also accused the Soviet Union of using state-sponsored athletes, who were de facto professionals. Francisco Fernández Ochoa became the first, and, as of 2018, only Spaniard to win a Winter Olympic gold medal when he triumphed in the slalom. The 1976 Winter Olympics had initially been awarded in 1970 to Denver, Colorado in the United States. These games would have coincided with the year of Colorado's centennial and the United States bicentennial. However, in November 1972 the people of Colorado voted against public funding of the games by a 3-2 margin. The IOC responded by offering the games to Vancouver Garibaldi, British Columbia, which had previously been an official candidate for the 1976 Games. However, a change in the provincial government resulted in an administration that did not support the Olympic bid, so the IOC's offer was rejected. Salt Lake City, previously a candidate for the 1972 Winter Olympics, then put itself forward, but the IOC opted instead to invite Innsbruck to host the 1976 Games, as most of the infrastructure from the 1964 Games had been maintained. Despite only having half the usual time to prepare for the Games, Innsbruck accepted the invitation to replace Denver in February 1973. Two Olympic flames were lit because it was the second time that the Austrian town had hosted the Winter Games. The 1976 Games featured the first combination bobsleigh and luge track, in neighboring IGLs. The Soviet Union won its fourth consecutive ice hockey gold medal. In 1980, the Winter Olympics returned to Lake Placid, which had hosted the 1932 Games. The first boycott of a Winter Olympics took place at these games, when Taiwan refused to participate after an edict by the IOC mandated that they change their name and national anthem. This was an attempt by the IOC to accommodate China, who wished to compete using the same name and anthem as those used by Taiwan. As a result, China participated for the first time since 1952. American speed skater Eric Haydn set either an Olympic or world record in every one of the five events in which he competed, winning a total of five individual gold medals and breaking the record for most individual golds in a single Olympics both summer and winter. Hanny Wenzel won both the slalom and giant slalom and her country, Liechtenstein, became the smallest nation to produce an Olympic gold medalist. In the Miracle on Ice the American hockey team composed of college players beat the favored seasoned professionals from the Soviet Union, and progressed to eventually win the gold medal. Topic: 1984–1998 Sapporo, Japan, and Gothenburg, Sweden, were front runners to host the 1984 Winter Olympics. It was therefore a surprise when Sarajevo, Yugoslavia, was selected as host. The games were well organized and not affected by the run-up to the war that engulfed the country eight years later. A total of 49 nations and 1,272 athletes participated in 39 events. Host nation Yugoslavia won its first Olympic medal when alpine skier Juri Franco won silver in the giant slalom. Another sporting highlight was the free dance performance of British ice dancers Jane Torval and Christopher Dean. Their bolero routine received unanimous perfect scores for artistic impression, earning them the gold medal. In 1988, the Canadian city of Calgary hosted the first Winter Olympics to span three weekends, lasting for a total of 16 days. New events were added in ski jumping and speed skating, while future Olympic sports curling, short track speed skating and freestyle skiing made their debut appearance as demonstration sports. The speed skating events were held indoors for the first time, on the Olympic Oval. 
Dutch skater Yvonne van Genip won three gold medals and set two world records, beating skaters from the favoured East German team in every race. Her medal total was equaled by Finnish ski jumper Mati Nykanen, who won all three events in his sport. Alberto Tomba, an Italian skier, made his Olympic debut by winning both the giant slalom and slalom. East German Christa Rothenberger won the women's 1,000m speed skating event. Seven months later she would earn a silver in track cycling at the Summer Games in Seoul, to become the only athlete to win medals in both a Summer and Winter Olympics in the same year. The 1992 Winter Games were the last to be held in the same year as the Summer Games. They were hosted in the French Savoy region, with 18 events held in the city of Albertville and the remaining events spread out over the Savoy. Political changes of the time were reflected in the composition of the Olympic teams competing in France. This was the first games to be held after the fall of communism and the fall of the Berlin Wall, and Germany competed as a single nation for the first time since the 1964 games. Former Yugoslavian republics Croatia and Slovenia made their debuts as independent nations. Most of the former Soviet republics still competed as a single team known as the Unified Team, but the Baltic states made independent appearances for the first time since before World World War II. At 16 years old, Finnish ski jumper Tony Niemannen made history by becoming the youngest male Winter Olympic champion. New Zealand skier Annalise Koberger became the first Winter Olympic medalist from the Southern Hemisphere when she won a silver medal in the women's slalom. The 1994 Winter Olympics, held in Lillehammer, Norway, were the first Winter Games to be held separately from the Summer Games. This change resulted from the decision reached in the 91st IOC session 1986 to separate the Summer and Winter Games and place them in alternating even-numbered years. Lillehammer is the northernmost city to ever host the Winter Games and it was the second time the Games were held in Norway, after the 1952 Winter Olympics in Oslo. After the dissolution of Czechoslovakia in 1993, the Czech Republic and Slovakia made their Olympic debuts. The women's figure skating competition drew media attention when American skater Nancy Kerrigan was injured on 6 January 1994, in an assault planned by the ex-husband of opponent Tanya Harding. Both skaters competed in the Games, but the gold medal was controversially won by Oksana Bayul who became Ukraine's first Olympic champion, while Kerrigan won the silver medal. Johan Olav Koss of Norway won three gold medals, coming first in all of the distance speed skating events. 13 year old Kim Yoon Mi became the youngest ever Olympic gold medalist when South Korea won the women's 3,000 meter speed skating relay. Russia won the most events, with 11 gold medals, while Norway achieved 26 podium finishes, collecting the most medals overall on home ground. Juan Antonio Samaranch described Lillehammer as, the best Olympic Winter Games ever. In his closing ceremony speech, the 1998 Winter Olympics were held in the Japanese city of Nagano and were the first games to host more than 2,000 athletes. The men's ice hockey tournament was open to NHL players for the first time. Canada and the United States were favoured to win the tournament as they both fielded more NHL players than European countries, but surprisingly neither team won any medals and it was the Czech Republic who prevailed. The Czech team was mainly composed of domestic pros with some additions from the NHL. The tournament was played under the IHHF rules, which were unfamiliar to many NH lured. Women's ice hockey made its debut and the United States won the gold medal. Bjorn Daly of Norway won three gold medals in Nordic skiing, becoming the most decorated Winter Olympic athlete, with eight gold medals and 12 medals overall. Austrian Hermann Mayer survived a crash during the downhill competition and returned to win gold in the Super G and the Giant Slalom. Tara Lipinski of the United States, aged just 15, became the youngest ever female gold medalist in an individual event when she won the latest singles, a record that had stood since Sonja Henny of Norway won the same event, also aged 15, in St. Moritz in 1928. New world records were set in speed skating largely due to the introduction of the clap skate. Topic: 21st century. Topic: 2002 to 2010. The 2002 Winter Olympics were held in Salt Lake City, United States, hosting 77 nations and 2,399 athletes in 78 events in seven sports. 
These games were the first to take place since the September 11 attacks of 2001, which meant a higher degree of security to avoid a terrorist attack. The opening ceremony saw signs of the aftermath of the events of that day, including the flag that flew at Ground Zero, NYPD officer Daniel Rodriguez singing, God Bless America, and honor guards of NYPD and FDNY members. German Georg Hackel won a silver in the singles luge, becoming the first athlete in Olympic history to win medals in the same individual event in five consecutive Olympics. Canada achieved an unprecedented double by winning both the men's and women's ice hockey gold medals. Canada became embroiled with Russia in a controversy that involved the judging of the pair's figure skating competition. The Russian pair of Yelena Bereznaya and Anton Sikorulidze competed against the Canadian pair of Jamie Saleh and David Pelletier for the gold medal. The Canadians appeared to have skated well enough to win the competition, yet the Russians were awarded the gold. The judging broke along Cold War lines with judges from former communist countries favouring the Russian pair and judges from Western nations voting for the Canadians. The only exception was the French judge, Marie Reine Lagoni, who awarded the gold to the Russians. An investigation revealed that she had been pressured to give the gold to the Russian pair regardless of how they skated. In return, the Russian judge would look favorably on the French entrance in the ice dancing competition. The IOC decided to award both pairs the gold medal in a second medal ceremony held later in the Games. Australian Stephen Bradbury became the first gold medalist from the Southern Hemisphere when he won the 1,000 m short track speed skating event. The Italian city of Turin hosted the 2006 Winter Olympics. It was the second time that Italy had hosted the Winter Olympic Games. South Korean athletes won 10 medals, including 6 gold in the short track speed skating events. Sun Yu Jin won 3 gold medals while her teammate Yun Su An won 3 gold medals and a bronze. In the women's cross-country team pursuit Canadian Sarah Renner broke one of her poles and, when he saw her dilemma, Norwegian coach Bjorner Hackensmoen decided to lend her a pole. In so doing she was able to help her team win a silver medal in the event at the expense of the Norwegian team, who finished fourth. On winning the Super G, Chetil Andre Ahmad of Norway became the most decorated ski racer of all time with four gold and eight overall medals. He is also the only ski racer to have won the same event at three different Olympics, winning the Super G in 1992, 2002 and 2006. Claudia Pechstein of Germany became the first speed skater to earn nine career medals. In February 2009, Pechstein tested positive for blood manipulation and received a two-year suspension, which she appealed. The Court of Arbitration for Sport upheld her suspension but a Swiss court ruled that she could compete for a spot on the 2010 German Olympic team. This ruling was brought to the Swiss Federal Tribunal, which overturned the lower court's ruling and precluded her from competing in Vancouver. In 2003 the IOC awarded the 2010 Winter Olympics to Vancouver, thus allowing Canada to host its second Winter Olympics. With a population of more than 2.5 million people Vancouver is the largest metropolitan area to ever host a Winter Olympic Games. Over 2,500 athletes from 82 countries participated in 86 events. The death of Georgian Luger Nodar Kumaradishvili in a training run on the day of the opening ceremonies resulted in the Whistler Sliding Centre changing the track layout on safety grounds. Norwegian cross-country skier Marit Bjorgen won five medals in the six cross-country events on the women's program. She finished the Olympics with three golds, a silver and a bronze. For the first time, Canada won a gold medal at an Olympic Games it hosted, having failed to do so at both the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal and the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary. In contrast to the lack of gold medals at these previous Olympics, the Canadian team finished first overall in gold medal wins, and became the first host nation—since Norway in 1952—to lead the gold medal count, with 14 medals. In doing so, it also broke the record for the most gold medals won by a NOC at a single Winter Olympics the previous was 13, set by the Soviet Union in 1976 and matched by Norway in 2002. The Vancouver Games were notable for the poor performance of the Russian athletes. From their first Winter Olympics in 1956 to the 2006 Games, a Soviet or Russian delegation had never been outside the top five medal-winning nations, but in 2010 they finished sixth in total medals and eleventh in gold medals. President Dmitry Medvedev called for the resignation of top sports officials immediately after the Games. 
Russia's disappointing performance at Vancouver is cited as the reason behind the implementation of a doping scheme alleged to have been in operation at major events such as the 2014 Games at Sochi. The success of Asian countries stood in stark contrast to the under-performing Russian team, with Vancouver marking a high point for medals won by Asian countries. In 1992 the Asian countries had won 15 medals, three of which were gold. In Vancouver the total number of medals won by athletes from Asia had increased to 31, with 11 of them being gold. The rise of Asian nations in Winter Olympic sports is due in part to the growth of winter sports programs and the interest in winter sports in nations such as South Korea, Japan and China. Topic 2014 to 2018 Sochi, Russia, was selected as the host city for the 2014 Winter Olympics over Salzburg, Austria, and Pyeongchang, South Korea. This was the first time that Russia had hosted a Winter Olympics. The Games took place from 7 to 23 February 2014. A record 2,800 athletes from 88 countries competed in 98 events. The Olympic Village and Olympic Stadium were located on the Black Sea coast. All of the mountain venues were 50 kilometers 31 miles away in the alpine region known as Krasnaya Polyana. The games were the most expensive so far with a cost of 30 billion pounds 51 billion United States dollars. On the snow, Norwegian biathlete Ole Ina Bjørndalen took two golds to bring his total tally of Olympic medals to 13, overtaking his compatriot Bjorn Daly to become the most decorated winter Olympian of all time. Another Norwegian, cross-country skier Marit Bjorgen took three golds, her total of ten Olympic medals tied her as the female Winter Olympian with most medals, alongside Raisa Smetanina and Stefania Belmundo. Snowboarder Ayumu Hirano became the youngest medalist on snow at the Winter Games when he took a silver in the halfpipe competition at the age of 15. On the ice, the Dutch dominated the speed skating events, taking 23 medals, four clean sweeps of the podium places and at least one medal in each of the 12 medal events. Irene Vust was their most successful competitor, taking two golds and three silvers. In figure skating, Yuzuru Hanyu became the first skater to break the 100-point barrier in the short program on the way to winning the gold medal. Among the sledding disciplines, Luger Armand Zogler took a bronze, becoming the first Winter Olympian to secure a medal in six consecutive games, following their disappointing performance at the 2010 Games, and an investment of £600 million in elite sport. Russia initially topped the medal table, taking 33 medals, including 13 golds. However Grigory Rodchenkov, the former head of the Russian National Anti-Doping Laboratory, subsequently claimed that he had been involved in doping dozens of Russian competitors for the Games, and that he had been assisted by the Russian Federal Security Service in opening and re-sealing bottles containing urine samples so that samples with banned substances could be replaced with clean urine. A subsequent investigation commissioned by the World Anti-Doping Agency led by Richard McLaren concluded that a state-sponsored doping program had operated in Russia from at least late 2011 to 2015 across the vast majority of summer and winter Olympic sports. On 5 December 2017, the IOC announced that Russia would be banned from the 2018 Winter Olympics with immediate effect and by the end of 2017 the IOC Disciplinary Commission had disqualified 43 Russian athletes, stripping 13 medals and knocking Russia from the top of the medal table, thus putting Norway in the lead. On 6 July 2011 Pyeongchang, South Korea, was selected to host the 2018 Winter Olympics over Munich, Germany, and Annecy, France. This was the first time that South Korea had been selected to host a Winter Olympics and it was the second time the Olympics were held in the country overall, after the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul. The Games took place from 9 to 25 February 2018. More than 2,900 athletes from 92 countries participated in 102 events. The Olympic Stadium and many of the sports venues were situated in the Alpensha Resort in Daegwalyong Mayan, Pyeongchang, while a number of other sports venues were located in the Gangneung Olympic Park in Pyeongchang's neighboring city of Gangneung. The lead-up to the 2018 Winter Olympics was affected by the tensions between North and South Korea and the ongoing Russian doping scandal. Despite tense relations, North Korea agreed to participate in the Games, enter with South Korea during the opening ceremony as a unified Korea, and field a unified team in women's ice hockey. 
Individual Russian athletes, who qualified and could demonstrate they had complied with the IOC's doping regulations, were given the option to compete neutrally in Pyeongchang as Olympic athletes from Russia. Or, but they were not allowed to compete under the Russian flag. The games saw the addition of big air snowboarding, mass start speed skating, mixed doubles curling, and mixed team alpine skiing to the program. On the ice, the Netherlands again dominated the speed skating, winning gold medals in seven of the ten individual events. Dutch speed skater Sven Kramer won gold in the men's 5,000 meters event, becoming the only male speed skater to win the same Olympic event three times. On the snow, Norway led the medal tally in cross-country skiing, with Marit Bjorgen winning bronze in the women's team sprint and gold in the 30 km classical event, bringing her total Olympic medal haul to 15, the most won by any athlete male or female in Winter Olympics history. Johannes Hosflot Klebo became the youngest ever male to win an Olympic gold in cross-country skiing when he won the men's sprint at age 21. Noriaki Kasai of Japan became the first athlete in history to participate in eight Winter Olympics when he took part in the ski jumping qualification the day before the opening of the Games. Esther Ledetska of the Czech Republic won gold in the skiing Super G event and another gold in the snowboarding parallel giant slalom, making her the first female athlete to win Olympic gold medals in two different sports at a single Winter Games. Norway led the total medal standings with 39, the highest number of medals by a nation in any Winter Olympics, followed by Germany's 31 and Canada's 29. Host nation South Korea won 17 medals, their highest medal haul at a Winter Olympics. <laughs> Future The host city for the 2022 Winter Olympics is Beijing, the capital of People's Republic of China, elected on 31 July 2015 at the 128th IOC session in Kuala Lumpur. Beijing will be the first city ever to have hosted both the Summer and Winter Olympics. The 2022 Winter Olympics will take place between 4 and 20 February 2022. Controversy The process for awarding host city honors came under intense scrutiny after Salt Lake City had been awarded the right to host the 2002 Games. Soon after the host city had been announced it was discovered that the organizers had engaged in an elaborate bribery scheme to curry favor with IOC officials. Gifts and other financial considerations were given to those who would evaluate and vote on Salt Lake City's bid. These gifts included medical treatment for relatives, a college scholarship for one member's son and a land deal in Utah. Even IOC President Juan Antonio Samaranch received two rifles valued at $2,000. Samaranch defended the gift as inconsequential since, as president, he was a non-voting member. The subsequent investigation uncovered inconsistencies in the bids for every Olympics both summer and winter since 1988. For example, the gifts received by IOC members from the Japanese Organizing Committee for Nagano's bid for the 1998 Winter Olympics were described by the Investigation Committee as astronomical. Although nothing strictly illegal had been done, the IOC feared that corporate sponsors would lose faith in the integrity of the process and that the Olympic brand would be tarnished to such an extent that advertisers would begin to pull their support. The investigation resulted in the expulsion of 10 IOC members and the sanctioning of another 10. New terms and age limits were established for IOC membership, and 15 former Olympic athletes were added to the committee. Stricter rules for future bids were imposed, with ceilings imposed on the value of gifts IOC members could accept from bid cities. <laughs> Host city legacy. According to the IOC, the host city for the Winter Olympics is responsible for establishing functions and services for all aspects of the Games, such as sports planning, venues, finance, technology, accommodation, catering, media services, etc., as well as operations during the Games. Due to the cost of hosting the Games, most host cities never realize a profit on their investment. For example, the 2006 Winter Olympics in Turin, Italy, cost $3.6 billion to host. By comparison, the 1998 Winter Olympics in Nagano, Japan, cost $12.5 billion. 
The organizers of the Nagano Games claimed that the cost of extending the bullet train service from Tokyo to Nagano was responsible for the large price tag. The organizing committee had hoped that the exposure gained from hosting the Winter Olympics, and the improved access to Nagano from Tokyo, would benefit the local economy for years afterwards. In actual fact, Nagano's economy did experience a post-Olympic boom for a year or two, but the long-term effects have not materialized as anticipated. The likelihood of heavy debt is a deterrent to prospective host cities, as well as the prospect of unused sports venues and infrastructure saddling the local community with upkeep costs into the future with no appreciable post-Olympic value. The Winter Olympics has the added problem of the alpine events requiring a mountain location. The men's downhill needs an 800-meter altitude difference along a suitable course. As this is a focal event that is central to the Games, the IOC has previously not agreed to it taking place a great distance from the main host city, in opposite to the Summer Games where sailing and horse sports have taken place more than 1,000 km away the requirement for a mountain location also means that venues such as hockey arenas often have to be built in sparsely populated areas with little future need for a large arena and for the hotels and infrastructure needed for all Olympic visitors. Due to cost issues, the only candidate cities for the 2022 Winter Olympics were in dictatorship countries, and a number of European countries declined due to political doubt over costs. Both the 2006 and 2010 Games, which were hosted in countries where large cities are located close to suitable mountain regions, had lower costs since more venues, hotels and transport infrastructure already existed. In contrast the 2014 Games had large cost due to most installations had to be built. The IOC has enacted several initiatives to mitigate these concerns. Firstly, the Commission has agreed to fund part of the host city's budget for staging the Games. Secondly, the qualifying host countries are limited to those that have the resources and infrastructure to successfully host an Olympic Games without negatively impacting the region or nation. This consequently rules out a large portion of the developing world. Finally, any prospective host city planning to bid for the Games is required to add a legacy plan to their proposal, with a view to the long-term economic and environmental impact that hosting the Olympics will have on the region. For the 2022 Winter Games, IOC allowed a longer distance between the Alpine events and other events. The Oslo bid had 220 kilometers 140 miles to the Kvitfjell downhill arena. For the 2026 Winter Games, IOC allowed Stockholm to have the Alpine event in R, 620 km 390 miles away road distance. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Doping. In 1967, the IOC began enacting drug testing protocols. They started by randomly testing athletes at the 1968 Winter Olympics. The first Winter Games athlete to test positive for a banned substance was Alois Schloeder, a West German hockey player, but his team was still allowed to compete. During the 1970s testing outside of competition was escalated because it was found to deter athletes from using performance-enhancing drugs. The problem with testing during this time was a lack of standardization of the test procedures, which undermined the credibility of the tests. It was not until the late 1980s that international sporting federations began to coordinate efforts to standardize the drug testing protocols. The IOC took the lead in the fight against steroids when it established the Independent World Anti-Doping Agency (WADA) in November 1999. The 2006 Winter Olympics in Turin became notable for a scandal involving the emerging trend of blood doping, the use of blood transfusions or synthetic hormones such as erythropoietin (EPO) to improve oxygen flow and thus reduce fatigue. The Italian police conducted a raid on the Austrian cross-country ski team's residents during the games where they seized blood doping specimens and equipment. This event followed the pre-Olympic suspension of 12 cross-country skiers who tested positive for unusually high levels of hemoglobin, which is evidence of blood doping. The 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi's Russian doping scandal has resulted in the International Olympic Committee to begin disciplinary proceedings against 28, later increased to 46, Russian athletes who competed at the 2014 Winter Games in Sochi, Russia, acting on evidence that their urine samples were tampered with. Politics Cold War 
The Winter Olympics have been an ideological front in the Cold War since the Soviet Union first participated at the 1956 Winter Games. It did not take long for the Cold War combatants to discover what a powerful propaganda tool the Olympic Games could be. The advent of the state-sponsored, full-time amateur athlete of the Eastern Bloc countries further eroded the ideology of the pure amateur, as it put the self-financed amateurs of the Western countries at a disadvantage. The Soviet Union entered teams of athletes who were all nominally students, soldiers, or working in a profession, but many of whom were in reality paid by the state to train on a full-time basis. Nevertheless, the IOC held to the traditional rules regarding amateurism until the 90s. The Cold War created tensions amongst countries allied to the two superpowers. The strained relationship between East and West Germany created a difficult political situation for the IOC. Because of its role in World War II, Germany was not allowed to compete at the 1948 Winter Olympics. In 1950 the IOC recognized the West German Olympic Committee, and invited East and West Germany to compete as a unified team at the 1952 Winter Games. East Germany declined the invitation and instead sought international legitimacy separate from West Germany. In 1955 the Soviet Union recognized East Germany as a sovereign state, thereby giving more credibility to East Germany's campaign to become an independent participant at the Olympics. The IOC agreed to provisionally accept the East German National Olympic Committee with the condition that East and West Germans compete on one team. The situation became tenuous when the Berlin Wall was constructed in 1962 and Western nations began refusing visas to East German athletes. The uneasy compromise of a unified team held until the 1968 Grenoble Games when the IOC officially split the teams and threatened to reject the host city bids of any country that refused entry visas to East German athletes. <inaudible> Boycott The Winter Games have had only one national team boycott when Taiwan decided not to participate in the 1980 Winter Olympics held in Lake Placid. Prior to the Games the IOC agreed to allow China to compete in the Olympics for the first time since 1952. China was given permission to compete as the People's Republic of China PRC and to use the PRC flag and anthem. Until 1980 the island of Taiwan had been competing under the name Republic of China. Rock and had been using the rock flag and anthem. The IOC attempted to have the countries compete together but when this proved to be unacceptable the IOC demanded that Taiwan cease to call itself the Republic of China. The IOC renamed the island Chinese Taipei and demanded that it adopt a different flag and national anthem, stipulations that Taiwan would not agree to. Despite numerous appeals and court hearings the IOC's decision stood. When the Taiwanese athletes arrived at the Olympic Village with their Republic of China identification cards they were not admitted. They subsequently left the Olympics in protest, just before the opening ceremonies. Taiwan returned to Olympic competition at the 1984 Winter Games in Sarajevo as Chinese Taipei. The country agreed to compete under a flag bearing the emblem of their National Olympic Committee and to play the anthem of their National Olympic Committee should one of their athletes win a gold medal. The agreement remains in place to this day. Topic: Sports. The Olympic Charter limits winter sports to those which are practiced on snow or ice. Since 1992, a number of new sports have been added to the Olympic program, which include short track speed skating, snowboarding, freestyle and mogul skiing. The addition of these events has broadened the appeal of the Winter Olympics beyond Europe and North America. While European powers such as Norway and Germany still dominate the traditional Winter Olympic sports, countries such as South Korea, Australia and Canada are finding success in the new sports. The results are, more parity in the national medal tables, more interest in the Winter Olympics, and higher global television ratings. Current sports Carrot Note 1. Figure skating events were held at the 1908 and 1920 Summer Olympics. Carrot Note 2. A men's ice hockey tournament was held at the 1920 Summer Olympics. Carrot Note 3. 
The IOC's website now treats men's military patrol at the 1924 Games as an event within the sport of biathlon. Topic: Demonstration events. Demonstration sports have historically provided a venue for host countries to attract publicity to locally popular sports by having a competition without granting medals. Demonstration sports were discontinued after 1992. Military patrol, a precursor to the biathlon, was a medal sport in 1924 and was demonstrated in 1928, 1936 and 1948, becoming an official sport in 1960. The special figures figure skating event was only contested at the 1908 Summer Olympics. Bandy Russian hockey is a sport popular in the Nordic countries and Russia. In the latter it's considered a national sport. It was demonstrated at the Oslo Games. Ice stock sport, a German variant of curling, was demonstrated in 1936 in Germany and 1964 in Austria. The ski ballet event, later known as Ski Acro, was demonstrated in 1988 and 1992. Skijoring, skiing behind dogs, was a demonstration sport in St. Moritz in 1928. A sled dog race was held at Lake Placid in 1932. Speed skiing was demonstrated in Albertville at the 1992 Winter Olympics. Winter pentathlon, a variant of the modern pentathlon, was included as a demonstration event at the 1948 Games in Switzerland. It included cross-country skiing, shooting, downhill skiing, fencing and horse riding. <laughs> All-time medal table The table below uses official data provided by the IOC. Topic: List of Winter Olympic Games. Unlike the Summer Olympics, the cancelled 1940 Winter Olympics and 1944 Winter Olympics are not included in the official Roman numeral counts for the Winter Games. While the official titles of the Summer Games count Olympiads, the titles of the Winter Games only count the games themselves. Topic. See also equals equals notes. <laughs>